I have to ask you this, talking about Hubert, and you've Please. interviewed him. Do you ever have somebody come on the show where you're nervous to have them? Like, oh, man, this is... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Like, who are you nervous to interview? Roger Penrose, the Nobel Prize winner. He's a, a just, just a brilliant mind and older, you know? So I'm like, how is this conversation going to go? How do I engage him? I don't want him to feel like he's wasting his time here. So I want to I want to be prepared, have mm-hmm. good questions, and yeah, I don't know how much experience those guys have on podcasts yeah. or how much of an experience they have at all with comedians. You know, I don't want to fuck around too much. I just want to just get the most out of him that I can get. Like I just want to try to like massage his wheels and and ask the right questions and and, and be curious about all the right things and be informed enough to. To know what the right questions are, yeah, and what I'm actually, and also I'm very fascinated by his research. So I really, it's like having an opportunity to talk to such a brilliant person. You know, like his, he's done uh, a lot of research in the Big Bang. He's got a very interesting thought about the Big Bang that he doesn't think the Big Bang was the beginning of the universe, and that's uh, something that a lot of physicists are considering now. It's very, it's very fascinating stuff. The idea that the universe is eternal or much older than we think it is. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you got to be a chameleon, man. You got so many people, different different people coming in here, yeah. right? From comedy to you know uh, doctors to to what have you, and you got to like adjust. You do have to adjust, yeah, to every different personality. It's just an art form, but I mean, it makes you more flexible as a person too. You can have con- conversations with all kinds of people. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's better. It's I, I like it. <coughs> it's a lot better than the way I used to think before I started the podcast. You know, two thousand nine, I was very closed minded. I just was doing it just for fun. I mean, I was open-minded generally, but not like I am now. I wasn't aware of why I thought what I thought and what my biases are and why why I think of things in certain ways instead of like considering them from like a broader perspective. But when you do a podcast, you're kind of forced to do that because there's a lot of times when um, I, even if I agree with someone about something, I have to take the position of someone who's skeptical and ask them a question like, but what about this? Yeah. So instead of just confirming them and us existing in an echo chamber, I, I'll try to offer consideration like, okay, but why? someone could think of it this way. Do you think of it this way ever? Have you ever tried to think of it this way? And just like see you know, how their brain works. Mm-hmm. So everybody's brain is, you know, they're different. You, you know, you have children. And one of the things you find out when you have children is, bro, right out of the box, they're different people. 